Well, I'm here with the cast of Bomb Girls. It's a new show premiering on Global Wednesday, January 4th. It's a privilege to sit down with three of the cast members. We've got Antonio Cupo, uh, Jody Balfour, and Meg Tilly. Thank you so much for uh, letting me sit down with you guys. Thank you. So why don't we first of all start, we have a, an American, South African, and Italian. Is that right? Yeah, it but sounds like, like the beginning of a really good Canadian, joke, right? Canadian. You're Canadian, uh, yes. Okay, but you've all spent a lot of time in Canada. That's what you have in common, and this is a great new Canadian series. I watched the first episode, and uh, I'm excited about this one. Really excited. So why don't you tell us, Meg, uh, the synopsis of the uh, whole story and your oh character. God. <laughs> Can you wrap oh, God. Up oh, my God. Okay, so it, it's um, all these different people who work in this bomb factory in the, during World War II, and so it's the coming together of of them, their lives, and some people you see a bit of their home life and some you don't, and just how it ties them all together mm -hmm. and what it was like living in that time mm -hmm. and what it was like. It's, it's a very strong uh, women's role, roles because the show, I'm a wordsmith. I used to be a writer. <laughs> <laughs> I can't put together a sentence. <laughs> but it's, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's strong women and the men in the factory, but the women who took the places of men. Women during wartime. It, was, it seemed like an important, an important time in history. You know, it's like this, the, the women got together and they wanted to obviously help out in the war effort and... And, and earn a paycheck. And a paycheck, yeah, yeah, because there was there was a, there wasn't yeah. there wasn't money. There wasn't a breadwinner around. They were they were off at, at, at war, and and women's role changed, and that sort of changed the course of history because, you know, from then, uh, women became empowered. They had a place, you know, mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, I wasn't at war. Marco was one of those characters that was not at war. No, but, but you he were. tried to enlist. You were at war in your own way and in your own heart. Yeah. In, in my heart, yes. yes. And you know, because and of in his background, in, in his, his techn technical background, yeah. you know, he was um, working in, in, a, in a fireworks factory with his parents as a child. He, he was he had this sort of incredible technical um, background that he was able to work in the munitions factory mm -hmm. uh, as uh, as. Uh, uh, munitions controller, you know, so everything with the, from getting the bomb materials into building the bombs to shipping them off, you know, he so he sort of oversaw. So that's kind of a little war in his own in his own thing. Yeah. And and working in a in a factory with a bunch of girls is also a little little war. Yeah. <laughs> exactly right. There's that one hunky guy that's around. Um, hey, hang on a second. Oh, thank you. Well, you know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, in, in the first episode we see, I, I'm sensing a little bitterness and, and frustration because you're not able to do, uh, be part of that. How does that feel for your character? Um, well, I think that it just, it's part of the discrimination that comes along with, mm -hmm. with being Italian in 1941. You know, um, something that we didn't really learn a lot about in history class, but that was a, a really valid part of, of uh, history was, was the fact that you know, even even though Canada was this this democratic place, uh, when it when it was wartime, it was time to go to the the internment camps for the you know the people that that might have been at risk. So mm, they later learned that a lot of those people were not at risk at all. But uh, you know that's what wartime is all about. You know, all is all is fair in love and war. They say sort of like what's happening now. You know, where people are being profiled. Right. You, you know, for sure. Yeah. Jody, your character, we're seeing different cast members with these different roles and different lifestyles and they're coming from different uh, family lives and, and crises and you're the rich girl, the pretty girl that comes in, you know, you take the secretarial job, but you really want to be on the line. You want to be down there with these other women. Yeah. So for you, how, how's your role? Um, I think it's, it's continuing in that same train of thought, you know, the attempt to break stereotypes and, and stop the habit of so quickly and easily judging people according to their class and their gender and their background, mm -hmm. essentially. Um, and that's Gladys's sort of struggle as well, mm -hmm. um, coming from a very privileged, very protected kind of cotton wool wrap life and having her socks blown right off at this, like, completely different, gritty, tough, but with a sense of freedom, this this life that these working class kind of more blue collar girls lead. Mm -hmm. And the idea of waking up with such a purpose every day, um, fighting for the war, um, their lives were so filled with meaning, despite the challenges that they had to face, obviously. And so for her, I think for the first time when she arrives at the factory to be a secretary, which 
we all know that can't possibly be an option when you see what they get to do but um, <laughs> when she arrives at the factory it's like this exists um, this is huge and phenomenal and there's no way I can continue living the way I've been living if this is what's open to me you know Nothing was yeah. nothing safe about this show. Nothing safe. Which is, what Which I is exciting. It's so exciting. No. <laughs> like I said, I'm so excited to see this in global. You know, yeah. Wednesday, January 4th, we're yeah. going to see this at 8 p.m. Yeah. I love the, the. Why don't you guys just look in the camera and why don't you guys just say who you are and when we can catch this? Oh, oh you do it. Me? Oh, no, no, no. no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we're from Bum Girls and you should really watch our show on Wednesdays at 8 starting on the 4th of January. Yes. I think that's a great idea. <laughs>